Hey, my name is Suspect. I'm going to do a quick overview of the sequence page on the 1010 Music Black Box. If you stay to the end, I'm going to show you a way that I skip the clunky song mode altogether in the Black Box and use just the sequence page to make 10, 20, 30-minute songs, 60-minute songs, 90-minute songs if I want in a much more linear and easy-to-understand fashion than the Black Box currently has in its song mode page. So let's go ahead and check out the black box. Gonna make that full screen for you. Now I've got a little project here that I loaded up. Go to the pads page. I just got some uh, four bar loops down here. Got some other various sounds that I've recorded in from the uh, Dig Attack here. I'm also using the Dig Attack as the main clock. So clock is just coming out into the black box, but no sounds are gonna be playing from this for this quick tutorial, go ahead and hit play. And check out the sequence page. Now, in the sequence page, um, got a few things going on. You can navigate around with the knobs, which takes some getting used to, sort of etch-a-sketch style, left, right, up and down. And you get the hang of it and get, you can also just press, but that will activate or deactivate a sequence. So you want to get used to just moving around with the knobs. You've got your uh, off, clear, and undo. If you hit off, everything will go off. If you're hovering over a certain pad and hit clear, it will just clear that pad. And of course you can undo. If you hit the info button, you'll get to uh, this page, which shows you your sequence. And you can choose with this button either keys or pads. The main difference being keys is your standard piano roll type layout. And pads, you can actuate all 16 pads just like you would with any type of like uh, drum sequence or program. You've got edit, which has your typical cut, copy, paste here. And now with the newest update, you can import MIDI files, um, which is something I don't usually do. I usually hook up a, a keyboard, MIDI keyboard, and play them in, or just use uh, the keys if I'm doing simple lines. But that is, of course, available to you. And then also in the new update, they have this event mode where it's a little hard to see on the screen, but with the bottom left knob, you can adjust the velocity on the individual notes. Scroll through with the knob, pick your note, hit velocity, or an electron style probability, uh, one through a hundred percent as far as chance of when it'll play. Uh, so those are certainly good additions. Black Box is, uh, or 1010 Music, I should say, is really good about updating this thing. In the little over a year that I've owned it, there have been many updates and many features added. So in this sequence right now, I just got a bass line going out from this sequence into my Korg Volk keys here. And real simple. Nothing earth shattering there. And of course I could do the probabilities and, and velocity individually. In the keys mode, these four knobs are real good for navigation. I can choose the note with the upper left. I can do the length of the note with the upper right, and then I can move the notes. Let me get out of event. I can move the notes left or right or up and down the scale, which is really handy. And pads, um, it certainly does not, all the knobs do not move the uh, different uh, choices up and down, just left and right. So that's something you'll get used to as you use it. Um, if you hit the info button from your sequence here, you'll go in, zoom in on the sequence, you hit it again, and you'll get to the step length, the step count, the duty cycle, and your MIDI out channel. For instance, I'm on channel out 16 for the Korg Volca keys. In the black box, you've got this little representation of the sequence page in the upper left. So if you hit that, you can choose the different pads or sequences which are controlling your different pads. For instance, this one is a pad view. 
where I got this drum going in the background. Um, and if you hit it again, you'll get your quantize size and your step mode on or off. They added this also in a recent update so you can finally get your notes off the grid. If you turn it to off, you can enter in off the grid playing live, or you can go in and move them with the uh, with the control knobs also off the grid. So that's really good if you want to add your own swing or add your snares a little late, your kicks a little early, whatever you're into. Now, if we go back to the sequences here, I will highlight this drum pattern that I got going. Let me turn off that bass for a second. I'm going to go into the sequence, and we're going to see that I just have a 1 16th step length and a 16 step count. So if we go back and look, each one of these steps is a 16th. Um, that's on my bass line there. Go to my drum. And here I have... 1 16th step length and 256 step count, which is the maximum step count for any individual sequence. Now I've been doing this for a while and you can't see the notes right now because all 256 steps are kind of squished into the, uh, into the page here. And I'm gonna just zoom out and now you can see the notes and what I have going are in slot number one, I've got kind of the snare and kick, and then in number two, I've got um, kind of the little bongo sounds that you hear, and I think a clap going on. But then I was thinking, how can you go ahead and make a longer uh, sequence? Because this thing lasts, it's about at 90 beats per minute, going through the 256 steps takes about a minute, minute and a half or so. And then it'll just re-loop. Well, in this other sequence, which I'm going to launch here, going to choose it so we can check it out. I've actually, because I have four bar loops going, I made eight step counts. So this each step is actually playing the four bar loop. There's a little, there's a little extra one I added in the background playing. So to go across these eight steps at in a four bar loop at 90 beats per minute, we're actually getting about a minute and a half to go through just these eight steps. Now, if I were to, Let's say on these pads, there's my kick and snare. That's my percussion. This is a hi-hat. Let's say I were making a song and I had four different variations of a drum loop. And then let's say I had four variations of a ba bass line, four variations of a lead line, and then four extra effects or vocals or anything I wanted to put in there. I could go to that sequence set to my four bars for my four bar loops that I've created and max that step count out to 256 and doing the math on my phone, that would be about a 40, 45 minute song that I could actually arrange by just individual steps as if it were a timeline. If I were to go ahead and max out this, uh, this step count, let's say to 64 steps, go back and check it out. I can now actually enter in the different drum loops I wanted, the different bass lines I wanted, and have 16 pads or different loops to play with across that whole sequence, which again, 256 steps would be just a huge song. You could actually do like a techno set or something. Um, with little variations and have it going for over an hour before you had to had to change anything and of course things could get a little boring so what you could do uh, to live to play a whole show just off of one one 
uh, P set here would be to go in as it's playing, get ahead of your next changes, and load up different sounds or loops that you have in your folder uh, in ahead of the next steps that are going to be triggering. And you could pretty much do that all night. Um, I've found this to be a lot more logical to my thinking. I'm used to DAWs and working on a timeline. And so if you're working in one bar, two bar, four bar, eight bar loops, you can really just uh, explore writing a whole song with those loops by just extending your step count up to eight bars. Goes, of course, back to 1 64ths because I've got four bar bar loops. I have it set on four bars. And that's been a great way for me to just bypass the song mode altogether, which I don't like and, and don't get along with because it's kind of clunky. I'll try to address it in another video. You've got your duty cycle and your MIDI out, of course. If you don't know what duty cycle is, um, I've got an example up here with these chords playing in the background. If I go and highlight the one that's playing, it's the uh, top third sequence playing, and it's playing the top leftmost sample out here on my pad, which is just a, a random chord that I picked up from my samples. Now the duty cycle on that is set to 33.3, .3. so what that means is for an individual length note, even though these are of different lengths, on this longer note it's only going to play 33% of the way through. On the smaller note it's going to play 33% of the way through on that note. So you have the ability not only to adjust how long an individual note is, but you can also, with the duty cycle, shorten that note. And I'll just try and select another sequence. I have a duplicate sequence, but on 100%. And so that's playing the full note. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's a hundred percent duty cycle where the note is really dragged out on those long notes because it's a long chord playing. Then a shorter one. Shorter one. And then a long one. But if I go back to the one with 33% duty cycle, it's just playing a third of however long that individual note is. So that's another way you can sort of shake it up um, by copying sequences and messing around with the duty cycle. So that's pretty much for the sequence mode. Um, you can get in there in your piano roll, you can clear, you can enter in on the fly, and you can also import. Uh, which is really handy when I do want to make something because this screen can be so fiddly, especially when you really get into that step count. Those buttons get real small where you have to press on the touch screen, so you have to do a lot of zooming in and out. I will just make either on my computer or on my iPad um, a MIDI sequence and then transfer it over into a file, load it up, that only works in the keys, not the pads. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a, a subscription and a like. I really appreciate it and look forward to more videos coming soon. Thanks a lot.